Hello and welcome to third session of Aveva Everything 3D course. My name is Ali. It's a pleasure to have you in this course. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to upgrade PDMS 11.5, 11.6, and 12 to 12.1 and E3D. In the previous session, we covered how to set your project which is designed by 12.1 to E3D. However, you may have a project designed by PDMS 11.5, 11.6 or 12 and you want to upgrade it to 12.1 and E3D. If you have a PDMS 11 version and you want to upgrade it to 12.1 and E3D, first you need to upgrade it to version 12 and then upgrade 12 to version 12.1 to upgrade PDMS 11 version please follow these steps 1. Back up your project in another location to have the original data 2. Put the folders of the project designed with PDMS 11.5 and 11.6 in a location you want to be used by PDMS 12. Right click on PDMS 12 and open file location. 4. Find evars.bat and edit it to set the direction of your folders. You should specify the root of the files at the end of evars.bat and then save and close the file. Enter module monitor of PDMS 12 with admin user. 6. Select MDB of your project that contains all databases of your project. So you can upgrade all the database of your project. If your project didn't have such MDB, you must enter admin module and create the MDB that includes all databases of your projects. I will show you how to create that MDB in part 2 of this course, which will cover the admin module. Please note that you can enter admin module instead of monitor module for upgrading. 7. In the command line, please enter this command slr m slash c colon backslash aveva backslash plant backslash pdms 12.0 sp6 backslash pdms ui backslash draw backslash upgrade backslash upgrade mac 8. please note that c in this command line represent the drive where the pdms 12 is installed if you select another direction please modify the command accordingly 9. by entering command the upgrading will start it will ask you to confirm deleting the old database Please type Y to continue. 10. After upgrading, enter the admin module and expunge all users. And then enter any module you want. By following the mentioned steps, you can upgrade version 11 to 12. Now it's a time to upgrade version 12 to 12.1. Please follow these steps. 1. Back up your project. To set your project in evars of PDMS 12.1. 3. Start admin module. 4. Make sure all users have exited from the project or expunge all users in the system at the local location. 5. Lock the project. 6. Enter this upgrade commands dbup space project space to space latest seven unlock the project i hope you find this session beneficial i suppose going over the upgrading of earlier versions is essential before starting to model in e3d because you may have some projects in earlier versions that you want to use instead of e3d's sample project for this course Please note that in this course we are going to model the real case project step by step as described in introduction. The good news is that you will get the real case project we have done for 
one of our clients after completion of this course it would be so valuable for you due to its databases, catalogs, and specs. Also, you can check your modeling with the real case project to ensure that you have acquired the skills to handle the real cases scenarios. It will build your self-confidence that is essential to work as a piping designer with E3D. Thank you for being with us.